All right, I'm going to show you how to configure Mach 3 CNC to have spindle control over a parallel port where you have one pin, number one, to enable the um, spindle entirely, and then a second pin, number 14, which is pulsing, pulse width modulation to control the speed. And there's several different interacting things that are not super well documented for this. So in config, you go to ports and um, pins, and in the ports and pins, you have to have the spindle enabled, and the direction pin should be off or not used. However, you have to have a number in there. So what I've done is I've set the direction pin to 1, which, and then I set the direction port to 0, which is a port I'm not using. Um, but the step pin, that's what's going to be used for PWM, so that's set to 14, which is my step pin. My step pin is active low, so I've checked the step pin active low. And that is on port 1, which is my actual parallel port. Now in the output signals, we need to enable output 1, which is going to control the activate pin. For you, know, you can think of that as the spindle relay pin. And that's on my first port, and the pin number is 1. So that output 1 is what the motor enable is going to be working with. And then, in the spindle setup, you need your spindle relays enabled, so don't check that. And I've put both of these because I don't actually have clockwise counterclockwise control. My spindle only goes in one direction. I've set both of those to output number one. So if you do either type of M3 or M4, it's going to just turn on output number one. So that enables a spindle. Now the motor control, we use use spindle motor output, and the PWM is check marked. Um, and I put the base frequency at 100. You can set that to whatever's appropriate for your machine. Um, I set the minimum PWM to a number for test purposes. Um, I'm going to change that back down to like 10% now um, just because I wanted to make sure that the spindle was running and working. Um, so you may be able to do you know zero for the minimum PWM here but that way you I knew it was turning on. So all of those things have to be set up in that specific you know um, configuration and so when you have all of that set up then when you enable the spindle, it'll work. Um, and you can have spindle control. Here I just have the voltage. I haven't configured anything else really. You know, I have down here at super low 1%, and that thing is just barely moving. Um, and then you can move it up. And here it goes between 1% and 167. I haven't quite figured out what's going on with that. The spindle speed, there's no feedback on my machine, but what I've done is I've gone into config and then config the spindle pulley. And my pulley, I just put min speed zero, max speed 2500 RPM, ratio one. Um, and that's what affects the display here. So if your spindle's a different speed, you can adjust it that way. So those are the steps that I had to do. And it took me a little while to figure out all the things that had to be checked and unchecked just to get my spindle working correctly. Um, so I hope this might help somebody else trying to set up a really old machine with a really old piece of software.